Welcome, the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka, absolutely incredible with what she has accomplished in such a short time here. Well on her way to becoming one of the best ever. An undefeated run in NXT. NXT Women's Champion. A title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. Here comes the Queen. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. One day, she'll be joining her father in the Hall of Fame. Byron, it just became iconic. I know, I see it on the Tron. Byron, I was back in the locker room area earlier today, and I heard Peyton Royce imitating you. Imitating me? It was an unbelievable impersonation. She does great impressions. Spot on, Byron Saxton. Oh, and by the way, she also handles her business inside the ring. A student of Lance Storm, Peyton Royce is absolutely incredible. Look at her, Byron. Yeah, I can see her. Look, Peyton Royce, extremely talented. Her attitude, that's something else. She's been nothing but sweet to me, Saxton. Guys, you better get ready for the woman's right. Saxton, you ought to get a woman like Lacey Evans to keep you in line. I'm good just the way I am, but I, I'll tell you what, her questionable personality traits aside, Lacey Evans has had some pretty incredible victories against top NXT talent like Kyrie Sane, Dakota Kai, and Candice LeRae. Questionable? Questionable? Yeah, You're questionable. kidding me? Lacey Evans is everything a woman should be. She's smart, she's strong, she's beautiful. She's smarter than you, Byron. Byron, you want to know just how competent Peyton Royce is of her abilities? In 2016, she was one of very few women brave enough to actually call out Asuka. Uh, keep in mind, though, Michael, Peyton wasn't by herself when she called out Asuka. She had Billy Kay by her side. 
It's not like Peyton was looking for a one-on-one -on -one battle. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Byron brings up a great point that I should have mentioned. Peyton's bravado certainly intensified when Billy Kay was by her side. Strength in numbers. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I encourage it. Just go back and look at what the Iconics were able to do together when they ambushed Asuka in the parking lot. you guys have noticed, but when Peyton Royce walks out wearing that iconic t-shirt, you can hear an audible groan from the crowd. I haven't noticed, but I'm sure they're just jealous, Cole. The fact of the matter is, when you look and perform like Peyton Royce does, you should absolutely have a high opinion of yourself. Oh, oh my God! Shoulder breaker! That could cause long-term damage. Big time impact from way up high. When it comes to Peyton Royce's opinion of herself, I partially agree with Corey. Yes, she should have self-confidence, but to call herself iconic? I don't know. That seems like a word that should be reserved for the likes of, I don't know, Tristratus and Mae Young. Who are you to decide who's an icon and who's not, Saxton? If Peyton Royce wants to call herself iconic, that's exactly what she should do, period. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, back in it up. Hip attack. So sudden. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse. She might have it. Looking for the win. Ooh, what impact. She better do something fast. Oscar. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Probably see a double after that one. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Nailed it! Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. We're looking at complete oh. domination here. Boom, what impact! The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage. And the Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots. But I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 days. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned. Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Suplex! There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. 
Well, Peyton Royce's career is just getting... Oh, this one's all but over. It's locked in. Oh, nasty. We could see a tap out. It's locked in. That's called making a statement, Cole. Man, I wonder if Peyton Royce can survive this. Splash! Massive. You gotta believe this one's over. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Forearm to the oh, face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. That NXT Breakout Star of the Year award Michael brings up is something for Peyton to be proud of, especially when you look at who she and Billy Kay beat to take home the hardware. Yeah, there were certainly some big names there. Talk about Ember Moon, Andrade Cien Almas. But in the end, it was the iconic duo walking away with the win. Oh, right to the face. Boom. Nice. Harsh impact. This might be it. Oh, my. She's looking at it. Look at her go. She's almost out of it. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. Point of the elbow, nailed it. And Charlotte does what she does best. Ooh! Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. We'll see how long she can keep it up. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should... Oh, I hate to see it end like this. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. That's a woman on a mission. And finally... Another exciting tag team match in the books. With wins like that, there's no way these two should even think about splitting up. Just my opinion. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing...